Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets. So, end of day review of your European markets for 3rd of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Marketplace from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, European markets, I did give you my midday video and I was forecasting a uh, risk aversion or a risk off uh, towards the afternoon. That's exactly what's occurred thus far. Uh, the risk aversion certainly exacerbated with the news of um, the uh, potential bombing in St. Petersburg. Again, terrorism again is uh, considered uh, a risk off uh, uh, reaction uh, in terms of the market. So again, you had a sell off in copper as well and oil certainly exacerbated that sell off too. OK, so <clears throat> it certainly seems that the markets are, are, are focusing more on, upon the potential reflation trade coming to an end. Uh, and the failure of uh, Mr. Trump uh, of, to push push through legislation for her for health care uh, and obviously the uh, the actual knock on effect of that uh, in terms of uh, a tax reform. Now, uh, European markets certainly going to a swoon as well on the back of obviously the Russian potential bombing. It certainly seems that uh, the euro um, obviously uh, hitting a low of 1.06. Uh, and five, I think it hit a low of 1.0640 at one point during the day, certainly isn't helping at all. Also stronger PMI data, stronger unemployment data, generally stronger data across Europe certainly isn't helping either in terms of the market itself. Uh, again, I did give you a number of reasons for the market to fall, especially with regards to the FTSE, given the Gibral Gibraltar concern, uh, obviously tagged associated with Brexit concerns and Brexit uncertainty going forward. Uh, U.S. auto sales certainly came on the weaker side. U.S. construction certainly came on the weaker side as well. U.S. PMI data came on the weaker side as well. Okay, so again, certainly not helping. So when you have weaker data and you have uh, obviously the um, terror concerns in Russia, which obviously has exacerbated, uh, has, has ramifications across the region, again, it, it indicates risk aversion and therefore you are going to see a, a move towards the dollar itself. Okay, now in terms of the uh, indices, let's see exactly how they finished. I did explain to you on the weekly chart, the German DAX, you had a double top. So a double top and you drop and that's exactly what's occurred. Uh, quite a prolific drop at that as well. Almost a 100 point uh, sell off after hours. Now daily chart certainly is printing a bearish engulfing candle. Okay, so again, bears certainly gaining control here. Uh, in terms of the 60 minute chart, you do have support around the 12 to 20 zone if the market continues to fall. Uh, continues to go into risk aversion mode and you are looking at gap fill below at 12150 which i did highlight during the day as well so bear that in mind okay now in terms of the uh, 10 minute chart let's just quickly look at a 10 minute chart on german dax i mean that's one hell of a flush folks as you can see here we close the gap at 12 1 12 uh, 3 10 and then obviously we've continued to flush down to uh, the 12 250 level now i think the after hours we actually hit a pivot low of 12 to 10 if i can recollect correctly and then you have gap fill below at 12,150. So it certainly seems like we're navigating or, or rotating towards that gap. So just bear that in mind, okay? In terms of the French CAC, again, the weekly chart was indicating resistance. And I explained to you that uh, a double top on the German DAX weekly is in indicating a bearish price action on the uh, on the French CAC. Now, having said that, it didn't actually put in a bearish engulfing candle. Uh, the reason why the German DAX was certainly sold off quite sure, well, more sharply was mainly due to the fact that uh, you had uh, uh, the concerns with regards to auto sales okay, from the US. Okay, so certainly an inside bar on the French CAC. So impressive, impressive nevertheless. Okay, impressive nevertheless. Now the 60 minute chart on the French CAC at the moment, we've certainly pushed below. You are going to see support now at the uh, 5065 region. Certainly look for a bounce there. Then you have support at 5.045 and then again support at 5.035. So the bears certainly are, are gaining ground here, gaining traction. 10 minute chart, you are into that 200 MA support. So therefore you one would expect a potential bounce there. Now, again, looking at the, uh, the market here, you are looking at lower lows and lower highs, obviously in motion. Any retrace now will be a shorting opportunity on the French CAC from my perspective, especially given the, uh, the flush that we've just observed. So again, keep an eye out for that. OK, in terms of the market, if you do continue to flush on the downside, then you have support at 5060, which I've highlighted support again at 5045 and then gap fill support at 5030. Watch out for those zones below. In terms of the FTSE 100, again, the weakness I, I highlighted again, I did indicate to you 
that you are going to see weakness uh, on the FTSE due to the HNS formation on the daily chart. Now, you do have support on the FTSE around the uh, 7260 zone and 7240 zone. Uh, the daily chart does have support around this zone here as well, uh, around the uh, 7280, so watch out for that. Again, after hours, we did actually hit 7260. Support is uh, massive support of 7260, so watch out for that. Again, if you continue, then you have support of 7240. And then ultimate support of 7200. So the FTSE certainly is in a lot of, under a lot of pressure. And that's mainly due to the, uh, obviously, uncertainty regarding Gibraltar. Again, uh, weaker PMI data and obviously the terror terror attack in, in Russia as well. Okay, 10-minute chart at the moment. Again, flushing did actually hold that support at 7285 after hours. We hit a low of 7260. So uh, certainly bears in control here on the FTSE 100. Euro stocks. Let's bring up Eurostock. Eurostock certainly flushed quite powerfully. Uh, daily chart certainly putting in a bearish engulfing candle. So again, bears certainly in control. Weekly chart, you can see clearly into resistance here. 60-minute chart, uh, again, you flushed. You've broken out of the bullish channel now. So the uh, the bears are in control here, folks, from my perspective. Ideally, what I would expect now is a potential HNS. So the head is obviously put in. You're looking for a potential right. Any, any type of bounce, I'd be looking to short, low or high. And then looking to flush uh, lower and uh, looking to test the 200 MA below around 3430, potentially even lower. So certainly bears in control on the euro stocks as well. OK, so I think that's a good summation. Again, terror concerns in, um, in Russia. Again, a risk off mode there. A weaker US data. Again, risk aversion mode. Brexit uncertainty. Frexit uncertainty. I mean, the list goes on. Uh, lack of uh, Trump uh, follow through or shall we say Trump trade failure etc etc i mean the, the bearish arguments have been there since january folks but this market has been i'm totally oblivious um total apathy doesn't care at all whatsoever uh, it will move when it wants to move okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now.